Hey, what's going on, you guys? I'm Prakha back from techris.com, and today we are going to learn how you can download files from the Firebase storage from your app. Okay, so many a times we need to download files like forms and uh, you know terms and condition documents directly from the app and display it to the user, be it PDF or document files, whatever it is. Uh, so we are going to learn how we can upload and download the static files. Okay, so what I mean by static here is the number of files are fixed. So we are not going to use any list view or the recycler view for this. We are we know that uh, there are a certain number of files and we are going to display them. Okay, so these are static files. Uh, they do not change uh, dynamically. Uh, but they remain static and their number is also fixed okay so if you have uh, a variable number of files you can watch the next tutorial which will cover right with the recycler view so we have a list uh, of files which you can download and do stuff with it okay so for uh, you know for the project we are going to have a new uh, project which is uh, on the studio so we have the main activity dot java and we have the xml of this activity which is activity dot main or uh, xml okay so what we are going to begin with is uh, just go to tools and we first we have to connect it to the firebase uh, to access the storage okay so just go to tools and select firebase from the drop uh, from the drop down and it gives you a firebase assistant on the right side okay so we are going to select the storage and then we click on upload and download a file with cloud storage okay now next uh, we are going to connect that to the firebase so it will start a dialog box which will uh, you know ask us that if we are going to connect that uh, to a pre-existing project or we are going to make a new one so we are going to make a new one for this okay so i'm just going to click on connect to firebase and it will take some time so the firebase uh, has now been connected now we are going to add the dependencies to our app uh, just click on add cloud storage to your app and accept the changes okay so it will take some time in order to add the dependencies in your gradle files okay so the dependencies are now being added okay so we have successfully added the dependencies now we are going to go to the main activity and do some stuff okay so first of all let's go to the activity main.xml and add a button here which will uh, you know prompt the user in order to download that image okay so add some constraints to it okay come on okay yeah and let's change the text to download uh, file okay so download file that is good okay so now we are gonna, we are going to give it an id of down okay down stands for download okay so let's go to the main activity and declare a button which uh, we have to import then let's name it down okay that's perfectly fine now we are going to uh, have the firebase storage firebase storage and then we have the storage reference okay so storage reference storage reference okay so what we are going to do is uh, we are just going to have uh, down is equals to find a view by id r dot id dot sorry r dot I, uh, id dot down and then we are going to declare the firebase storage okay so now what uh, what i like to do is i like to you know distribute my program into methods so that's uh, more a cleaner code okay so down uh, dots now i'll set an on click listener to my button on click listener new on click listener okay so now we have uh, to make a method which is known as a download file and then uh, we'll just call it in the on click function okay so let's create a method which is public and uh, does not return anything so it's void and download so let's close the braces and open them okay so download oh oh i created that in the main sorry i'll just cut that and paste that in oh i accidentally created that in the on create method my bad okay so we have access the download method now we have uh, to write some codes in order to get that file now firstly to get that now we are in the method so we have uh, the fi uh, firebase storage or the fire sorry the storage reference equals firebase storage dot uh, we have to first get the instance of the storage okay 
get instance dot get reference you can do that in separate lines but in order to reduce the code size we have to do it so i like to do it in a single line okay now we have the storage reference now you can specify so what i'm going to do is i'm going to upload that uh, you know upload the file directly from my computer uh, to the website yeah uh, if you want to know how you can add it from your app uh, you know by creating another activity just visit the blog which is given uh, in the description and uh, you know in the bottom part you'll find the code for the upload activity uh, it's quite easy you can connect that and uh, it will be just a really seamless experience for you guys uh, just copy and paste the code and uh, but i'll do it from my computer so it's kind of easy and does not increase the length of the video okay so uh, let's go to storage I'll launch in browser. Oh, it opened docs. I don't want docs. Okay, so let's go to the Firebase console. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on. Okay. So here's our project, uh, go to storage and then get started. Make sure you do this before you upload anything uh, dynamically, uh, uh, you know, by the app or just go to the website and, you know, activate the storage. Okay, so we also have to change the permissions uh, because we are not using any authentication function in our app. So we have to change the permissions. Okay, so what we are going to do is uh, let it load. So here the auth request or the request dot auth is not equals to null. So what we are going to do is exactly equals to null. Okay. So and we are going to publish it now. If you have the authentic uh, authentication function in your app, you need not do this. But if in future you add the authentication to your app, please remember to do this. Uh, uh, you know, or you will encounter an error which will be you know quite confusing and you'll not be able to get what. Uh, you know what is going wrong okay so please set a reminder or whatever you like that if you add future authentication in your app so please remember to make it not null from exactly equals to null because it will deny all your requests for logins uh, I mean uh, to the accessing the read and write of the storage okay never mind we are going to go to the file and upload a file okay so let me find a file for you guys Okay, so I've selected two files, which is license.pdf and mobile.pdf. So we are going to download the and handle the PDF files today. Okay, so it is direct. Uh, so it is the direct child of the root or the you know or the parent. So we have not created any folders. So we are not dealing with folders here. Or you can create a folder and then add a slash, uh, the folder name slash the file name directly to your uh, reference. Okay, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to just directly do it without the folder. Okay, so what we have it he here is uh, I'm going to declare another reference which will be uh, the storage reference uh, which will be named as ref which will be the direct reference to our file. Okay, so makes it easy in the code. Okay, so reference uh, equals uh, then we have the storage reference storage reference dot child okay so the child is uh, direct child so we have mobile oops mobile dot pdf uh, it's dot pdf let me check once yes it's mobile dot pdf so we are going to download that mobile dot pdf it's a direct child so no worries so what we are going to do is ref dot uh, we have to get, get download url dot uh, we have to you know set an on success listener new on success listener and it will uh, you know implement one method which is on oh i was writing okay <laughs> sorry on failure listener and uh, new on fa on failure listener and here we go so these are the two methods that we need on success listener and on failure listener okay so on success listener we are going to call the default download manager of android you know which is uh, already implemented in the android if you want to create an extra class for downloading that you can do so via you know the http uh, is uh, request 
and stuff you can do that but uh, let's go straight because the files are fixed and we do not need an extra class in order to uh, you know that will increase the app size in order to just download a few files okay so calling that default android uh, download manager is quite a good idea here as per i think okay so uh, so we are going to make a method which is download files okay so let's call it okay so here is uh, public void public void download files I'm not sure I don't know why download files oops files okay so download files now what we have uh, to do is now this is not a correct method because uh, we have to implement the parameters so now for increasing so for decreasing the length of the video I've just uh, you know already copied or uh, you know written the uh, the download function here th uh, which will call the Android download manager so we are just going to copy paste I'm going to explain that what is it okay so we are going to import the download manager by pressing alt plus enter now this is download file okay so download file which will be called and then that is uh, you know passing uh, the parameters are context the file name the file extension the uh, the destination directory and the URL okay so it's giving me error because I haven't passed the parameters yet okay so context is the context of your program or your activity and uh, the file name is the file name that you are going to download the file extension is the extension of the file that you are going to download in our case it's .pdf uh, if it's an image you can download .jpeg or .png or .whatever and the destination directory either you can give a destination directory if you uh, wish to have a custom one we are going to download that in the downloads folder so that's not a problem anymore so we have the URL URL is passed uh, when you are directly downloading in the URL so when you are downloading from the firebase storage you can download it via many ways you can down you can also create a local file uh, and then download it by get bytes and uh, but we are go what we are doing is we are getting the download URL so we can call the download manager in that case you wouldn't call the download manager but in our case we are going to get the URL so we have to count uh, so we have to uh, you know uh, implement the download manager as well so download files okay so let's add the context uh, the first context will be the main activity dot x uh, main, main activity dot this okay that's the context the file name should be mobile okay uh, that's that's a string so that's a mobile okay now the extension it is dot uh, pdf that is a string as well uh, okay then we have the destination directory for the destination directory we are going to pass the directory download so direct da directory download directory downloads okay so we are going to call that and then we have the string URL okay so on success is passing a URI okay so that's a URI so what we have to convert it into a string which is a URL so we have string URL equals uh, we have to convert the URI into string so we can uh, use the to string function okay then we have the U URL which is passed in here so the entire code is complete this is all you need to download uh, you know the file that you have okay so let's fire up the emulator and get the app running okay so the emulator is up and running so let's click on download file and see if that downloads our file and yes we have the mobile one because uh, I have already created a tutorial on this so I already have in that in my downloads folder but never mind that's mobile one uh, re you know it is renamed as mobile one because another file already exists as mobile so that's uh, how the download uh, you know the download manager works if I download it again it will be down it will be mobile dash two uh, so let's see oops see so yes our file is successfully downloading and this way you can create an on-click listener you can uh, have an on-click listener to anything like an image or text whatever you like um, and just download the file whatever you want just specify uh, the file extension here and uh, you know if uh, you want the user to open it 
I, that will not open because okay that's opening okay so this is thing so thank you for watching this tutorial if you like it you can hit the subscribe button and hit our like and share with more android beginners so they can get the confidence uh, to code the application that they want okay thank you guys